Hi, it's Eddie and Kara, and we own a junk removal business called Junk Lovers Junk Removal and Hauling. Yeah, people call us when they want big messes cleaned up. This one is pretty unique, and it's the whole property is really messy, and the house has some really creepy crawly surprises. Right now, we're going to walk around the property and see what needs to be cleaned up. So when we walk in to the well, when we walk on the property, we have this. Chicken poop over there. Yeah, lots of it. Mm -hmm. Definitely a mess. All kinds of things on the ground. Could be worse. It could be. Could also be much better. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice building. Mm -hmm. Oh, tires. Lots of tires. Tires are at least $2.50 each to dump at the dump. Dump at the dump. And looks like oh. just a lot of loose trash, yeah, kind of throughout, yeah, and a few big piles here. And um, the owner did say that they would like for us to take the insulation, so that can just go on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot of trash out here. I feel like they took some though. I don't know. Pretty full of trash. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> We're not going to dive in just yet. If you would like to see the full cleanup video where we get a lot more up close and personal with everything on the property, then subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified when we post the full cleanup video. This is just the walkthrough. All right, well, that's the outside, and now we got to go in the house. Are you ready for this? I am, at this moment, going to provide a flashback to when we came a few days ago to look at this house because we have since fogged it. So here's what it looked like before we fogged it. Look at it. Oh yeah, look at them. Yeah, we would definitely fog. Man, look at them, that's like where they live. So we've not been in since we have fogged it. We'll see if it helped out the roach situation. Do we need to put our masks on before we go in? For the walkthrough? Or you think it's okay? I don't think so for the walkthrough. We can just w open the windows, right? It won't be in okay. very long. But when we right. work in here, we will want them yeah. on. We closed all the windows, too. So, wait, are they open? No, they're closed. No, I need all to right. open them. This is the test. I don't see any roaches. Put the camera oh, up Oh, I do see one roach. Oh, they're going to be alive. You think they'll still yes. be alive? Look, they're oh like gosh. dinosaurs. All right, we'll open it and see. Yeah, yeah there's they're still there. It... Might have gotten some of them, but look, there are some dead ones up there, I think. If that's what those they're are. Alive. They're all alive? I think so. Uh, okay, well. You'll see when you get on the other side of that door, that's for sure. Yep, there's still live roaches. All right, open the windows. Phew. Doing that, I will. It's pretty rough. Again, this was a rental property that the people just left without giving the owners any notice. 
And this is how they left it. I do kind of wish we had on our masks, like our, you know, paper masks or whatever. Are they alive or are they Is the closet scrolling? better? I don't know. No. I don't know. Look in the corner over here. I know. There's a bunch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me see if I turn the light on. <laughs> I think they are dead. I think. No. They're, they're alive. alive? They're alive. How do we know? Are they just sleeping? All of their antennas are moving. Look, they're just sleeping? Look, look right here on the door. The I antennas don't know if I moving. Got it or not. They're just sleeping. Yeah. Holy crap. What is that? There's more. Okay, I kind of want to put my, my mask on before we come back in. Let's go do that. Now we're really ready for the walkthrough. So we've seen all this. Let's go into these rooms next, or over here in the hallway. These masks don't help a lot, do they? We'll need our gas masks probably, even just in here, because mm -hmm. I don't like to smell um, mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. whether it's, I, mean, I don't know. Oh, lots of boxes in here, lots of cardboard. So that can be recycled. That's good. You know, that mm -hmm. won't, yeah, that will be good. Little mouse home. A lot of roaches. They're just yeah, all over. They just, yep. They're just really living in here, liking it. <clears throat> Where's next in here? The lights come on? Does it? No. Oh, yeah, there's not one in here. All right. You wanna, here, I'm going to get this room. Uh, it's kind of dark. Let me see if I can get the light on. There we go. It's not great, but... Okay, not a lot in here, not this room. We like to put as little as possible in the landfill, but it's not always possible to, <laughs> to donate or recycle when things are ruined, like this table. I'm not gonna donate that, you know? because of just how it smells in here and the stuff that's on it. I don't, I wouldn't feel comfortable donating this. I might put it out by the side of the road and if somebody wanted it, they could take it, but. Okay. All right, you ready to go to the kitchen? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is rough. This is where our biggest, heaviest stuff is going to be, it looks like. But there is a basement. Oh. Hmm. At least the cabinets are empty? <laughs> It's incredible <laughs> the amount of roach Ugh, poop yeah, that's and in roaches. This place. Well, all the little black specks I think is roach poop is because it? on that white wall where all of them are living, there's black specks everywhere on it. Yeah. It's disgusting. Well, we fogged this place, and you see what good it did. <laughs> oh, it's a moth. Can you get the windows open, please? Thanks. All right, well, it's about time to go down here. And we've been down here already, so we know how rough it is. Are you ready? Hmm. Oh, okay, here we go. The basement, now down, well, we're gonna wear gas masks, no matter what, like even in the house, but we would definitely, need them down here. All right. Wow. 
I'm just as surprised now as I was though, like at all the stuff. Like they just threw. Hmm. There's a cute little M&M thing. The owner said they would like to keep that. I don't blame them. I would totally keep it if they didn't. Let's see. The floor is disgusting, so I've got to be careful. There's not as much water. No, that's good. Man. Yeah, definitely we'll be wearing gas masks down here mm -hmm. because the mold smell is really bad. You know, and as gross as this is, to me, this is gonna be kind of fun. It's gonna be hard work. But it's going to be fun because there's all kinds of junk. <laughs> and one of the reasons we got into this is we kind of like to look through junk. So, now that kind of freaks me out right there. Yeah. See that? That freaks me out. Mm -hmm. Like, to me that could be dangerous, right? Yeah. Um... If anybody has like electrical knowledge, you can tell me if I should be worried. I don't hear anything. We don't have to worry. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. That is gonna make a good before after picture right there. That is insane. I can't even walk through here to show what all there is. This is gonna be a lot of work. Man. Our estimate is that this whole job takes us a week. I mean, he's adorable. That's pretty much the cutest thing down here so far that we can see. Like, what is he even doing here, you know? I know. Okay, well, now that we've done a walkthrough of the whole property and the house, it's time for us to get started cleaning it up. Thanks for watching our walkthrough video. Yeah, we're gonna get started on the cleanup and if you'd like to see that full video, be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload it.